Alright everybody welcome to another Ionic tutorial in which I'm gonna show you how to sign your unsigned APK which we created in the last tutorial so that you can actually upload this APK on Play Store and <clears throat> pretty much install it on your phone as well. So you need to sign an APK in order to install it and to do that what we can do make use of is a key tool which would generate a private key and uh, first of all just write key tool right here to ensure that you have key tool installed and if you just sort of get an error like uh, this command is not found or something like that then it probably means that you are missing JDK now JDK is Java development kit you can just go to Google and download that and once you're done with that you should get this tool automatically in your command line okay so the next thing if I refer to the documentation itself it says that we have to generate this private key by using key tool and how we have to generate it is like something like this key tool generate key version key store and then your key name right here so I'm gonna say most awesome key ever dot key store and uh, then an alias of let's just keep it to documentation only a last name then the algorithm for the key which would be RSA and RSA is an encryption algorithm key size 2048 encryption and validity is 10,000 and hit enter now I have to enter a key store password so I'm gonna keep it secret let's just see um, let me think what I would give this probably like hello world because it is a secret and I'm gonna not tell you that I get this password as hello world hello world hit enter what is your first and last name Meho Mohan what is the name of your organizational unit code dam name of your organization oh, what was then organizational unit well I don't know city or locate locality I would probably keep it to India only state would be Delhi to country letter code IN yep generating da 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 da, da. enter key for enter key password for a last name return I'm gonna keep it same storing most awesome key ever alright so now we are done with the key the next thing we make use of something known as jar signer so just type again jar signer and hit enter and you should probably get something like this and again if you get sort of errors then you are probably missing out the JDK so once you are installed once you have installed JDK then what you need to do is go ahead and write jar signer verbose sig alg sha1 with rsa and don't worry i'm just copying and pasting it from a website the documentation one i don't really remember all of this as well so you can just you know probably copy it as well well actually i can probably give you the link as well the link is uh, this ionic framework.com or you can just google that how to publish your apk with ionic and ionic will take you to there or i could just paste all of these codes down there and there you see i spotted a typo right there so this would be jar instead of ajur and wait a sec okay done with my call now again for key store we don't need my release because the documentation probably shows me that but I would like to keep it to my name only and that would be what I told it most awesome something like that most awesome most awesome key ever dot key store reader dot apk allies name hit enter enter passphrase for key store and what it was I guess hello world it was hit enter alright so okay so I guess we gotta make it 
to news reader and probably like that and move it out a little bit to our hello world application right there and now let's do it hello world hit enter jar signed perfect now if you take a look then looks like it's signed so jar is not time stabbed uh, whatever so we have finally signed the, our jar or the basically our apk file which is nothing but a bunch of java files now because remember that android has a native language support as java only so no matter how hard you code at some point you have to be in java when you are writing android code so here we are with our signed apk and uh, pretty much we are done with this application and in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how this looks like on a phone so that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching